<laughs> Sandy, you've just had what is a, um, a relatively uh, rare privilege of flying in this original 1917 Bristol fighter here at Hood Aerodrome. How was it? How was it? It was amazing. So when David Hayes, who's the manager of the um, airport here, said, would I like to go for a ride? Um, I said, yeah, of course I would. But I didn't envisage that I was going to fly in this incredibly rare plane. Um, and so I wandered here this morning and underestimated a, the, um, you know, the authentic authenticity of the plane. <laughs> the surroundings, the perfect day for flying, yeah. um, the incredible talent you've got. The people that have been introduced today are just talent from all around the world, aren't yeah, they? We're, it's, an, it's just an untold hidden gem sit again that I, I didn't appreciate. <laughs> right, right. And while you were up here in the Bristol Fighter, you were also flying next to a, a very authentic RAF B12, which is actually the only one of that type flying in the world. See, this, so, we need to be telling the story. I mean, people should be flocking here from all around the world. Not to fly, but to, to see it. I mean, Now, you've, you've got a passion for that. So, just briefly, what, what's your background in terms of the, the local area? Councillor, um, I believe? Yes, or? I'm a newly elected district councillor. I'm actually not, I'm not a wire up a person. I've right. lived in a lot of places and I only came back here in 2010 from Auckland because right. I loved the wire up when I lived here the first time. So I wanted to retire here, but I'm not retired. But... Um, <laughs> Uh, seven years on Marcelin Trust Lands Trust, which is, um, we have uh, $72 million worth of commercial property that we look after, and yeah. then newly elected to Marcelin District Council. Yeah. Um, I have a background in community development, yeah. um, which I did for externally for Marcelin District Council and Monaco City Council. So okay. I have a passion for people and making places livable and, um, you know, embracing and, and accentuating the, the the value of what we have around us. I mean, the Wire Wrapper is a wonderful place to live and another untold story, really. Oh, yeah. um, but people are starting to discover us, aren't they? Which is why we had quite a population growth. Well, yeah, yeah, but, yeah, 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 exactly. But, but I, so I'm, I'm, I'm picking that the, the fact that you're not previously from the Wire Wrapper. Um, you're probably looking at what's going on here at Hood Aerodrome with pretty fresh eyes. Absolutely. Because I think a lot of the locals, yeah. it's been here for a decade and a half almost, yeah. possibly a little bit blasé about what's here and don't actually understand the worldwide significance and I was of, the of same. what is I here. I knew it was here. Um, I brought my son and husband down when we were living in Auckland and shouted them a um, tiger moth flight. I knew right. that was here. Right. Um, but I didn't appreciate actually the um, the craftsmanship and the uniqueness of the of the stock you had. I just didn't yeah. understand that. Yeah. Because no one's really told me. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that, that's right, it, as you say, it's, it's a story that needs to, yeah. to get out. Um, so prior to flying as gunner in the back of the <laughs> Bristol fighter this morning, you I, know, mean, I how sat much there admiring the beautiful wicker seat that the pilot was sitting on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you, you haven't done much open cockpit flying? Never previously? before, absolutely never. Before? never. No, All never. Right, so a completely time. new experience. Uh, yeah, a totally new experience, yep. Uh, flown in commercial planes obviously, yeah. flown in small Air New yeah. Zealand planes, but no, this is my first time. Right, right. Yeah. okay, so keen to do it again sometime. Oh yeah. God, I'd love to, <laughs> I mean it's just, you're just sitting up there and the world's all around you. It's probably nicer than a balloon to be honest because yeah. it's moving fast enough that you're getting up to see a lot, aren't There's you? There's a bit more variety in the view. Yeah, really. and you can yeah. move and, yeah. and when he did the big sweep, you know, like, oh, it's really special. Really good. And it right. wasn't cold. I thought I'd be cold up there, but it wasn't. It was just very comfortable. Right. All right, Tani. Um, glad you enjoyed your flight. Oh, um, absolutely. And oh, hope you it's have an the absolute opportunity. privilege, and I have to thank everyone that's made it possible for me. I, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, can't and, express and my thanks enough. <laughs> hopefully, you will have the opportunity to help spread oh, the yeah, word a little absolutely. bit. Absolutely. Um, yeah. It would we, be nice to get people again to... realising what, what is actually here. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah. we definitely have to up the game around telling the story, yeah. and, um, and I'll be going out to promote that. <laughs> Excellent. All right, Sandy, thank you. Thank you.